Hey everyone, it's Elaine, and thanks for coming back to my channel. I have Sissy in my lap, so if you hear a little bit of a noise, it's her. Let's see if I can get her Paul up here to say hi. Hey! <laughs> Anyhow, um, what I wanted to show you today was this cute bird. Um, I guess it's been a few years now. Someone had brought these to a retreat that I had attended, and they're simply made out of scraps. Now this one looks like perhaps it um, had black cardboard as the base and it's two-sided and it looks like washi tape. It looks like um, perhaps jelly printed deli paper or um, parchment paper. And even some paper that kind of looks like it had a paint pour on it. Not exactly sure. But it is glued down to, the wing is glued down to the body. Now I'm thinking there might have been something attached here and I lost it on the way home. But look at the cute little eye and then there's a, like an acrylic crown. So I went ahead and there is a template that I've used. And you can just draw up something of your own. This is quite simple, nothing fancy. And um, you don't even have to do a bird. If you remember one of my past videos, I had used a stencil girl stencil and had some like little funky critters. But this one, it I want to say it has a moving part to it, but it doesn't. It just has the extra wing. Now this is nothing but washi tape that I've done on these two, as you can see. So if you have scraps of, you know, papers, um, bright colored papers and not sure what to do. Now what I plan on doing, and can I put my hand on a pair of scissors? Yes, I can. I didn't have the little acrylic crown that she used. I'm sure they're out there somewhere. But remember, I'm big on using what I have. I have so much stuff, so much stuff. I need to use it. So someone the other day gave me some things. They've decided they don't want to craft anymore, so I get it, which I don't necessarily mind. Hopefully I can find something to do. But these were just some little, um, like snowflakes. They have holes in them as if they're to be sewn on or used as buttons. But what I thought I would do is um, just go ahead and use them instead. Now these, uh, these eyes here have sticky on them. So let me go ahead and see about placement. Kind of want to tip it. Alrighty. Now you know what I just did? I just pushed on that and dented the eye. Dang it, Elaine. So let's not do that again. Live and learn. See there, you learned something from me already. Don't push on the center of the eye. And if it should come off at a later date, we can always use some, some glue on it. Now I might have that down a little low before it has a chance to stick. Let me pull it up some. All right, anyway, so I've got my art glitter glue here. It's ready to go. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of this snowflake and that's what we are going to use as some like extra little feathers and there we go there we go i think that's pretty cute this time i want to do a colored eye um something that stands out let's do the green i'm not sure that these have adhesive on them i don't think they do they came in a bag and they do come in all sizes. I also, here you go, I got some big ones too. I don't know, to me this would be a fun project, you know, maybe to do with some young ones. Um, I also think that it's fun because it would be something neat to either like, you know, put on a, a journal album or even put it in a planner as a something, a little fun something to find. You know, nothing fancy, something to use up your scraps. Of course, I'm going to get glue everywhere, so excuse the glue. Let's get it back in place. Both things. Maybe I'll put the eye just a little bit on that snowflake. Anyway, I didn't push in the eye, 
Right now it's not wanting to bobble. <laughs> it will, hopefully. Anyhow, that's just what I wanted to show you. Something again to do with your smaller scraps. You know, I did these in strips, but it wouldn't have to. You could do them, you know, just in little squares or, you know, kind of make a um, mosaic out of them. So there's my birds, the one that I was given and the ones that I did. I figured you didn't need to watch me put all that washi tape on them. But anyhow, I appreciate it. And if you like what I did, I do try to do my best at putting up a video every Tuesday evening at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And, you know, so far, so good. I'm also on um, Instagram and I have my own Facebook group where mostly I try to uh, focus on recycling and using things up. Um, so come on by there and join me. I'm on Twitter and I'm even on LinkedIn. I, that's more of a professional page, but I do put up a video now and then. So come on, jump in here with me. And I appreciate if you have subscribed and given me that thumbs up and I will catch you down the road. Please behave, stay safe. Bye.